I was in a house. It was blue. It was a blue house. It was a small blue house. It was made of plywood. Across from me sat an old man. He was a storyteller. I watched as the old man bent over to light a mosquito coil. After he had finished lighting it, he reached over and turned down the kerosene lamp. It was dark. He looked at me and he said, now, I'm going to tell you a story. I turned on my tape recorder, and this is the story he told. There were two boys. They lived with their parents on the island of Woodenbar in Wetja Atoll in the Marshall Islands. They had no food. As much as they collected food, it would always disappear. Every day they'd go collecting and getting that food, and every morning it was gone. So every day the father had to go out fishing to get more food. And one day, as the father set off to go fishing, his boys came running up to him, Papa, 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 we have a good idea. When you go out fishing this time, can you please go off and catch us two of the cut cut birds, the fighting birds? Yes. <laughs> said, yes, I can do that for you, because you can help us collect the food. So Papa went sailing off to another island, and he went fishing, and he caught a good amount of fish, and when he was done, he was ready to sail on home, and then he thought, oh, my boys, they wanted the kutika. So he set a little trap with a coconut shell, and he hid in the bushes, and very soon he had caught not one, but two. How convenient. Two kutika birds, the fighting Birds. So he sailed on home, and when he came home, he called out to his boys, 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 I have the cut-to-cut, -cut, the fighting birds for you. And the boys came running out, pop, 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 that's great. And he said, but wait, before I give you the birds, you have to promise me that you'll never go to the north side of the island. And the boy said, sure, 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 no problem, give us the birds. And they took the birds, and they were so excited, they built themselves a cage, and they put the birds inside that cage, and they set it off, and they all went off, and da, 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 da. They went off to bed, and very early in the morning, their excitement was so great, they jumped off their sleeping mats, and they came out, they opened that cage, they took those birds, and they went running off, and Papa stuck his head out the window, and he said, now boys, remember what I said, don't go to the north side of the island. And the boys said, sure, no problem, we're off. And so the boys went off to the east side of the island, and as they went, they sang themselves, a little song. Pei wai me de ai karu ana ponganga jinganga ya bukrei ya ya o ale kwar kunji abaji kunji abaji kunji abaji. And they came to the east side of the island. When they got there, there were all these birds. And so the two boys, they went down in the bushes and they crawled up. They crawled up. Is the light real good? They crawled up. And they put those cut cut birds down, ready to start a fight. And as soon as all those birds saw the two fighting birds, they all flew away. Oh, no, said the younger brother. That's not fair. What are they, a bunch of chicken birds? We didn't get to see any fights, any fights whatsoever. He grabbed his bird. He said, come on, brother, let's go somewhere else. And the older brother said, no, it's getting pretty late. We should just go home. We can take the birds out again tomorrow. So the boys went on home. They put the birds inside the cage. They went to sleep. They were so excited. They got up early in the morning, jumped off their sleeping mats, opened that cage, grabbed those birds, and they started off. And as they went, Papa stuck his head out the window, and he said, now, boys, remember, don't go to the north side of the island. And the boys said, fine, 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 fine. And so off they went to the west side of the island. And as they went, they sang a little song, and they did. A little dance. Ate <laughs> wai 
moment's time, the fight was over, and there was not even a feather left of the demon's birds. And the younger brother's like, who told you our birds be yours? <laughs> and the older brother said, he's not laughing. And the younger brother said, hey, you're not laughing. And the demon said, I'm not laughing. And he grabbed the two boys and he lifted them over the ears and he said, now, you two my eating birds, and he threw them down into a hole. And that hole had a big clamshell at the bottom. And the demon said, show me your hands. And the two boys, they stuck out their hands, and they said, look at our hands. They're really skinny. You have to feed us and fatten us up before you eat us. And the demon said, that's an idea. And so he went off, and he gathered all his food. And he brought the food, and he fed it to the boys. And the younger brother, he ate, 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 because he hadn't eaten in a long time. And he was eating all this food. And every day, the demon would go get more food, and he'd come down. And he'd say, show me your hands. And the boys would stick their hands up, and they'd say, look at our hands, they're really skinny. Feed us more until we're really fat. And the demon brought more food, and the younger brother ate more food than the older brother. He sat there every day. And he took the coconuts, and he broke them open. And he dumped the coconut oil inside that big shell. And he took the hair off the coconut, and he rolled it, and he rolled it, and the demon brought food. And the younger brother ate the food. Show us your hands, they're really skinny. And he took off the hair off the coconut and he rolled it and he rolled it until he rolled it into a nice big rope. And just as the older brother had finished that rope, they heard the demon. Today, boys, it's the day. And the older brother, he tied a big loop in that, that, uh, that rope and he threw it up into a tree above them. And the demon, I'm going to cook you today. Boys. And he started to build an oven. And the older brother, he climbed up that rope up into the tree. And they could hear the demon, ha, ha, ha. The stones are burning nice and hot. And the older brother, he took that rope and he dropped it down to the younger brother. And he tied it to a basket. And the younger brother got it in the basket. And the older brother pulled him up. And the demon, he's like, here I come, boys. The oven is nice and hot. And he came walking over. He came over walking over. And he looked over, uh, over into that hole. And you know what he saw? He saw those two boys. And he said, show me your hands. And the boy said, look at our hands, they're really skinny. Fatten us up. 
And the demon said, hi, you're fat enough. Now it's time to eat you. And he reached down to grab them. But he grabbed nothing. Instead, the demon fell into the hole with a splash. Ah, now we know what happened. The demon looked down into that big shell, into that coconut oil, and he saw the reflection of the boys up in the tree. And the boys were laughing. And the demon, what? How did you two get up there? And the, the older brother said, he's not laughing. And the younger brother said, hey, you're not laughing. And the demon said, I'm not laughing. How did you two get up in that tree? And the boy said, oh, it's easy, easy. We just climbed up the whole side of the hole using the roots from the tree. So the demon started to climb, but the roots pulled out, and he fell down, splash, down into the hole. And the boy started to laugh, and the older brother said, hey, he's not laughing. And the younger brother said, hey, you're not laughing. And the demon said, I'm not laughing. How did you get up into that tree? And the boy said, oh, it's just a little joke. He said, here we climbed up the rope, and he threw the rope down. And the demon started to climb the rope, and the boys took a coconut, broke it open, put the oil on it, and the demon slipped down the rope and back into the hole, splash. And the brother started to laugh. And the older brother said, hey, he's not laughing. The younger brother said, hey, you're not laughing. Oh, I'm not laughing. Tell me how you got up into that tree. And the boy said, calm down. We got inside the basket. And they dropped the basket down on the end of the rope. And the demon climbed in the basket, and the, the boys pulled it up, and pulled it up, and pulled it up. And as he came closer and closer, the demon. <laughs> now I'm a weapon. I'm going to get you boys. And he reached up to grab him. The boys cut the rope, and the basket fell down, and the demon smashed his head on the shell and was dead. And the boys, they slid down the coconut tree. They gathered up their kutukut -kut birds. They gathered up all the food that the demon had stolen. And they skipped on home to their parents. And they had a big feast. And right at that moment, the old man, the storyteller, he looked at me and he said, I know this is the truth because they invited me to my house and I ate with them. And that is the story.